Hey everyone, I'm Bill. I'm with Kalimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Eurocycle Sonoma. And I have been on all kinds of bike, adventure bikes, uh, sport bikes, naked bikes. I've never been on an electric bike. So today we're on the 2020 Zero DSR Black Forest Edition. This thing has a whopping, it is, well, first of all, it's called the Torque Beast. 114 foot-pounds of torque this thing produces. That's more than any gas-burning leader bike on the market. So let's get geared up, let's take a look around this bike, and let's get out on the road and see how this little torque beast does. All right, guys, so we are on our Zeros, Bogna. I'm jealous, this is one of the only times I'm more jealous that she's on a bike that I really wanna be on. <laughs> That's the creme de la creme of Zeros, the SRF, so stay tuned for her video. I'm on the DRS, and this is the um, black, like black something, the Black Tiger or something like that, but uh, we've been kind of playing with the menus and stuff. Very, very cool. So we're in eco mode. Key. Uh, so we, you know, just get the key on. Uh, and it's really just outfitted just like a, a normal bike, except obviously no clutch, no gears, and uh, brake and brake. So um, let's get rolling. You ready? Hold on. So she has a lot more menus and, and everything. So uh, let's go ahead and... Get on out of here. So, this is absolutely wild. This is this is w probably the wildest I've felt on a motorcycle. You don't hear anything. You hear a little bit of the brushed motor. You know, a little bit of the motor going, but uh, nothing major. But this thing has massive, massive torques. I think the torque specs are just under 115 foot-pounds of torque, about equal to about 70 horsepower. So it's uh, it's got some fun to it. So let's see. We're in eco mode, so obviously we're probably in the the lowest power mode. Wow. Absolutely wild to be, you know, I grew up on motorcycles. I've been in motorcycles pretty much all my life. And uh, I've this is the first time I've ever ridden a zero motorcycle. And uh, wild experience. It's, uh, it's, it's cool. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I just, you know, there's always something about the sound of the motor, right? The rev, the, you know, we pull in the clutch right now. We give it a little... You know, and there's none of that. There's none of that. Front brake's real nice. Um, not much to this at all. So let's run in eco mode for a quick minute. I almost thought I stalled the bike right there. <laughs> Bogna's behind us. So she got, so the reason why Bogna isn't on the littler one is she couldn't reach because this one is taller than the one that she's on. So I believe that's the SRF. That's like the uh, $20,000 model. And this is the $15,000 model. And then of course they have the $10,000 model below it. So today is one of our uh, clear days finally. We're in uh, Sonoma, just outside of Sonoma. Sonoma straight ahead of us. Uh, Windsor and Northern California and Southern California is down here. Santa Rosa is right over there. And so we have had rain, 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 rain. And today, let's get the brakes, brakes, brakes. Decent, decent, decent. <laughs> She's grabbing for the clutch. I keep doing it. I, it's, it's, it's wild. It's, it's a wild experience. So let's go ahead and uh, in, let's see if I can change this real quick. Let's get into sport mode. Oh, immediately. The, the, whoa, wow. Oh, man. Um, immediately the power is just, bam. Um, 
So that was kind of a little wild. You immediately felt it from eco mode to sport mode, which of course you should, right? Um, zero is done no different. You absolutely have that kind of uh, power feel. Now let's check and see. Oh, we can't go straight into different modes. So wow, wild to go from the eco to our custom to our sport mode. Now, uh, Zach over at um, uh, Eurocycles, he let us in on the custom mode. The custom mode, you can actually plug straight into your computer and basically you can program the motorcycle to uh, have what you want. Now, of course, the one that Bogna has, has, you know, traction control and, and ABS brakes and stuff like that. So you can program that to be in a custom um, right off your laptop. Uh, this one is just got some basics. So, uh, so you do hit a little uh, output. Obviously, you can see we're using power, and then of course we've got our regen. So it does have a little bit of regen, but woo! All right, all right, all right, all right. I got it. I got it. I got it. I just had to do it once, maybe twice, maybe twice. But wow, that was. Uh, that was pretty rad. So we've got an RPM gauge down below. Our temperature gauge, obviously our engine temperature. Now when I started this up, I noticed that the engine temperature gauge started reading almost immediately. So I think that there's a warm up uh, to the uh, batteries or to the motor. Of course, we've got our, uh, our electric gauge over here. Uh, how much? We've got 85% battery. And then of course it's got its battery life. And then our fuel cap and our fuel tank, that's where our trickle charger or our fast charger will go. Now, if you're in the fast charge mode, it charges a full battery in just under 90 minutes. Uh, 84 minutes, I think. So um, not too bad, not too bad, pretty quick. Uh, if you need to stop and get it, I think it's a standard port. So I believe you can just basically plug into a, I'm not sure that a Tesla plug would work, but most EV plugs are all the same. Um, so, you know, if you want to stop and get coffee and they have the EV plug, which I've seen more uh, Starbucks are getting them, um, you, can, uh, you can get it plugged up. So, wow, wild. So just a little bit of uh, what's going on here. We drove through here earlier and you can see all these trees down. This is from the Kincaid fire. This was the wildfire that we just had here in California. This is the furthest it went and Eurocycles was right there. They were evacuated for just about a week. So, uh, you know, it, just imagine your business having to be closed for a week and who knows. Now, just behind us was the Santa Rosa fire from two years ago and that took out half the town or a quarter of the town. It took out buildings and, and businesses and the Kmart burned to the ground and everything. So the fire stopped right up in here. So that's, it's kind of wild to kind of come through here. But the Zero Bike, very cool. Let's get the visor down and uh, got a little nice little horn. Nothing too, too toots. And then of course we've got our flashing here and our high beams on and off. Of course you've got your mileage. So let's see, do we have, so, uh, oh yeah, there's an odometer on there. 11 miles on the odometer now. Uh, and then of course we've got our, uh, let's see, it's, Oh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Uh, tripometer and uh, your clock settings and stuff like that. Obviously, it's not 6.30 right now. So our button's over here. But we do have fully adjustable suspension in the front, which we do have the inverted forks and the uh, compression and rebound here. So very nice to be able to get a fully adjustable suspension uh, on this bike. So... Uh, 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 I don't know what else to say about this thing. It's it's rad. Um, let's talk about the price because we're at fifteen thousand. And you know, do how is gas right? I mean, gas. We don't run through gas too much on motorcycles, you know. But obviously, you can offset that cost in gas and fuel costs. Um, so is it is it a value? Is fifteen thousand dollars a value? You know, I think if you're in the city and. This would be a good city commuter bike. 
Uh, I've seen a lot of them in San Francisco. These are actually made right here in California. So I think it's a very, I think it's a very, uh, I think it's a reasonable price. 15,000 for an electric motorcycle with this much power? Heck yeah. There's no shifting, no brit, no no clutch, no nothing like that. Um, this one doesn't have a steering dampener or anything on it, but um, yeah, it's wild. To uh, it's it's wild. It, uh, it's if you've never been on a zero, um, I encourage you guys to head up here to Eurocycle. If you guys are here in the Bay Area now, Eurocycle Sonoma, huge shout out to them. Thank you guys for uh, for letting us come out, Zach. Uh, is the manager, the general manager here, and their loss, or in, and their Reno store, uh, and we just were talking to him right before we left, and he invited us up to the Reno store where they have uh, Ducati and Triumph. But of course, we try to keep that over with ANS. But uh, they have something like a thirty thousand uh, foot, square foot showroom, so uh, we might make a trip up to Reno one day and uh, show you guys Eurocycle of Reno, but also. You guys down in Las Vegas, if you guys are in the Las Vegas area, Eurocycles Las Vegas is down there and they have a massive showroom as well. So make sure you hit them up on their website. Um, everything will be linked down below. But uh, zero, come come ride their zeros. They, they're, they'll, they'll let you ride anything. Uh, I, I was talking to uh, Carrie over, uh, she's one of the service people. She's, so, you, sorry, rewind. Eurocycle's where I bought my BMW S1000, by the way. If you guys aren't catching on to why that name sounds familiar, if you guys are following the channel. So I did buy my BMW S1000 from them, and uh, I met Carrie uh, then, and she's come and ridden with us at Cali Track Days. So huge shout out to Carrie. Thank you so much for giving us this opportunity, because Carrie was the liaison from Zach to say, hey, let these guys come out and ride these bikes, because they they, we love them, man. We love to ride. So, so huge shout out. Thank you guys at Eurocycles. So, if you guys are around, make sure you give them a shout, give them a call. Now, I think I got a halogen bulb, and I think she's got LED bulbs, which is pretty cool. I just saw in the in the back. So, you know, the twenty thousand dollar motorcycle. I think. Look, if you're if you're if you have the means and you're at fifteen thousand, that might be the way to go. Traction control, uh, a, a, uh, ABS control, uh, power control. Watch Bogner's video. I'm jealous, absolutely hands down. I'll, I'll admit it. I'm absolutely jealous that she's on that bike because that was a bike that I want to ride, but she couldn't touch the ground on this one. So it is a little bit high. Uh, I'm six two. She's five nine, and five nine. She couldn't touch the ground. She couldn't. She could tiptoe on this bike. That bike, she can almost flat foot. So uh, the other the other reasons to spend the extra money. I mean, if you're if you're uh, uh, if you've got the means to be able to spend that extra money, uh, I think that that's the zero to buy, in my personal opinion. It'd be nice if Zero gave me one of those. Uh, I'd love to do a long-term test on one of these because I would honestly, if I had that bike, I would ride it. I would ride. I would ride so much more, just to be able to hop on that thing and just rant. But we need another motorcycle in our garage, like a hole in the head. But uh, was it N plus one? N plus one. N plus one. A blast! A blast! I, I I hope you guys are enjoying it as much as I am. Um, I'm enjoying it. I really am. So if you guys are looking for a zero, head over to their website. Their website's very informational. The Torque Beast right here. This has more torque than any sport bike out there. So if you guys are torque, but small, this thing is pretty small. And let's go ahead and get into this twisty right here. And, uh, ah, 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 and on the brakes. <laughs> yeah, 40 miles an hour. Eurocycle Sonoma, we're back. What a blast. I absolutely loved it. 
I hope you guys did too. If you guys haven't seen the rest of the test rides, uh, we are here also doing Aprilia. And Bogna's on another bike that I want to be on. The MV Agusta Dragster RR800. Uh, super, super rad. So let's get this down. Power off. So we used about 10% of battery on a 10-minute ride. And I think in the city they say about 60 to 70 minutes. So that's about right. So about a minute, a percent. Um, but look at this. It's very cool. So adjustable rear suspension as well. There's your motor down there. Okay. Um, but I'm not sure about I'm not sure about the gold. God, and I apologize because we'll obviously have it in the title, but it's like a the the Black Hawk or the 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 name of the bike is kind of very cool, but Navi Pirelli tires. So not bad, not bad at all. Check out Bogna's review. I'm jealous. Two zeros here at Eurocycle Sonoma. Thank you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please stay tuned for more reviews. We'll be on the Aprilia Factory 1100 and the Dragster is coming out right now. So stay tuned. Thanks guys. Hit the hit thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, we will see you next video. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.